Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, Philadelphia Park, Ben Salem, PA on Sunday afternoon, July the 3rd, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 9 this afternoon, folks, 3.50 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Mile test on the turf course, three year olds and up race for an allowance purse of $47,000. Contenders number three, Green Bluff, number one, Claire Castle, number ten, three piece band, and number seven, I'm sure. Number three, Green Bluff is both the overall speed and pace profile later in this allowance field this afternoon, racing at today's distance of a mile on the grass. Has hit the board in three of his last five starts overall, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Angel Arroyo has been in his irons on two previous occasions, producing a win and a place finish en route to a positive 105% return on investment in the process. He's back today for ride number three, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number one, Claire Castle, an 8-1 to shot, comes off a power run win in his last start, which was his second power run win in his last five outings. Race 9 summary, number 3, Green Bluff, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1, Claire Castle, number 10, 3-piece band, and number 7, I'm sure, 3-1, 10-7 in the ninth from Parks Racing. Bonus long shots on Sunday. Let's stay right here in Ben Salem. Parks Racing, race 9, the 10-1 to 1 bomb, number 2 on the level, drops in class by 9 units. Nice overall speed for this mile 70-yard test on the dirt. Prairie Meadows. Race 6, number 1 out of Jane, an 8-1 to one shot, takes a monster class drop. 40 track master units, decent speed for this 6 for a long sprint. So, from Parks Racing, Philly Park, in my opinion, Rick Eden for DayAtTheTrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.